Board Badger here with my buddy from The Biggest, here to tell you some things that you need to know to things that remind you to bring more hand sanitizer on your next flight. Here, here are 18, 18 secrets, secrets flight attendants don't, don't want you to know, you know about. Thanks, Tyler Man. We try to bring just some of the most interesting stuff to keep boredom at bay. Be sure to tell us what you think of the crazy gross secrets in this video in the comments below. 18. Your pilot lands hard in bad weather for your safety. You might think you barely made it through the storm because your pilot crash landed on the tarmac. You thought that it was because they almost lost control of the plane, right? That's wrong. Pilots intentionally land hard in bad weather so that the aircraft will not hydroplane. If you have ever had to experience hydroplaning in a car, you know just how scary this is. Just imagine trying to regain control of a plane that is a hundred times bigger than your car. In this case, you should just trust your pilot. Number 17. That cooler has organs. If you happen to see a lot cooler sitting up in the overhead bins of your next flight, chances are it contains human organs. There are usually being transported for medical or scientific reasons. Here's to hoping that scientific brain doesn't have any contagious virus. That doesn't sound like the plot to a movie or anything. There's really nothing to be scared of. Those things just need a way to be transported as well. So generally, an airplane is the quickest mode of transportation. If you were in dire need of a kidney or a lung, you would want it to get to you in the quickest way possible. Number 16. The food trays are rarely cleaned. That plastic tray your food gets served on isn't the cleanest of places. In fact, it's hardly cleaned at all. This is another situation where there's just simply not enough time for these things to be cleaned. Now, to be honest, with as much money as airlines make, they need to provide their staff with more hours or specifically hire more cleaning people just to clean the things that are currently seriously lacking, like the food trays. Really, they carry people's food and you can't make sure that they're thoroughly cleaned? It's not the flight attendant's fault, it's the airlines. 15. Using a cell phone during flight won't bring down the plane. Ever since you were young, there's been rumors that if you use your cell phone on a plane, it might crash. This just isn't true. However, it can cause some issues. The interference really bothers the pilots. In fact, they can sometimes miss communications from towers and other planes. It's not like a bunch of planes went down yesterday because they crashed into each other due to cell phone use, but it's still much safer and more pleasant for everyone involved if you just turn your cell phones to airplane mode as instructed. Number 14. They are more pissed off at delays than you. You might be royally teed because of a delay, but chances are your flight attendant is far more infuriated. While you're mad that you have to wait in an airport for three more hours so that the airline can get their ish together. She's been away from home for more than a week, already had a long day, which is only gonna get longer, and now the flight is delayed, adding even more hours to their already 16 hour day. You might think, too bad for them, they get paid to do this. It turns out that most flight attendants won't even start getting paid until the cabin door is shut, or sometimes not even until they're already in flight. Number 13, they work for experience, not money. Just like we stated above, some flight attendants don't even begin to start earning money until that cabin door is shut, or worse, not until they are so many feet in the air. That means that all the time dealing with delays, loading passengers, and dealing with a nonsense before takeoff, they aren't even getting paid for it. And speaking of getting paid, when they get their paycheck, it's not very much. The average salary of a flight attendant is only 20000 a year. That's next to nothing. For some reason, there are still people signing up to be flight attendants. Why? Because they work for the experience, not for the money. Number 12 you are most likely traveling with a corpse. You might think that you would be aware, that you would smell an odor or something of that nature, but nothing could be further from the truth. Some people die far away from where they wanted to be buried, so they have to be transported, usually by plane. If you ever hear the code HR, it stands for human remains. Other than that, you wouldn't even know that the wooden boxes beneath the plane were corpses in the first place. Keep an ear out and try not to freak out next time someone says HR while on board a flight. Number 11, they call you Bob. If you are causing a problem or being rude, you probably just earned yourself a nickname. Just like you did as a kid with your best friend, flight attendants give nicknames to passengers so they can talk about them amongst each other. A specific name that is often used is Bob, which stands for boyfriend on board. Some flight attendants say that it's specific to an abuse situation, whereas others say that it can be used to describe any unruly passenger. We guess it just depends on who you get. Number 10. They lie to you. You may believe that flight attendants know everything. You might even think that's part of their job. While they are full of knowledge on how to keep you safe by using the exits or how to use the oxygen masks, they have no clue if your bag made it onto the plane. Though if you ask them, chances are they'll smile really big and say yes. It's not that they want to lie to you, but they need to keep you happy so that the whole flight is more enjoyable for everyone. If you kept complaining about your bag the whole flight and 10 people who heard you wrote a letter complaining, the flight attendant could lose your job. So that's why they smile and nod even though they have no idea where your stuff is or if you're ever going to see it again. Number 9. Don't use the pillows or blankets. 
it might be tempting to reach for the neatly folded pillow and blanket on the seat next to you. In a foreign place such as an aircraft, it's easy to find comfort in small amenities like those. However, next flight you take, you need to seriously reconsider reaching for those comforting items. The reason being, they hardly get washed. Each time a flight is cleared, the flight attendants simply walk around, refold the blankets, and place them neatly under the pillow for the next passenger of the next flight. They hardly get washed, if ever. They simply get refolded and put into place. Just think about some random person's spit or their dandruff all over the pillow and blanket you're using. Either deal with sleeping on your hand or bring your own stuff. Just don't use theirs. Number 8. Turbulence scares them too. When turbulence happens, especially bad turbulence, even the biggest, most manly men turn into little babies. However, usually when you're terrified and look over at the flight attendant, she just looks at you with a calm smile. Even though they seem relaxed and uber calm, they are trembling just as much as you are inside. They have to stay calm so that the passengers in the cabin stay calm, but they are just as scared as you are. Turbulence is no joke. Number 7. Your pilot falls asleep. At first, this doesn't seem to be too big of a deal since there is a co-pilot, right? While that is indeed one of the reasons to have a co-pilot, so that the pilots can take naps, especially during extremely long flights, that's not exactly what we are talking about. In one survey regarding pilots, over half provided info for the survey admitted to having falling asleep involuntarily mid-flight. Uh, somebody hand this guy a Red Bull. Number 6. The pilot and the co-pilot cannot share food. They can't even eat the same thing. The reasoning behind this madness is to prevent food poisoning. Airlines figure that if one pilot's food gets poisoned, the other one will be fine to fly since they didn't eat the same food. It's actually kind of smart. We're certainly glad that they are taking these extra precautions. Number 5. Don't piss off your pilot. Believe it or not, pilots have the same powers as sea captains do. They can write you fines or even have you handcuffed if you get out of hand. If you are detained mid-flight, you can expect to be formally arrested the second you land by local authorities. While we don't know about the whole marriage thing, the pilot can also take the dying will of any passenger. That's some pretty big responsibility for these folks. We would suggest not pissing them off. 4. The bathroom door doesn't lock Well, technically it does, but the flight attendant, or anyone really, can unlock it from the outside. So much for privacy. There apparently is a lever that is hidden behind the lavatory sign on the door that if pushed to the side or flipped up, reveals another lock. Once the flight attendant unlocks the door, it can be unopened from the outside. Don't worry, no one is going to be trying to invade your privacy. The flight attendants just need a way to access the bathroom if you are doing something illegal or if you are in trouble and need help. Number three, it's not the air, it's the surfaces that get you sick. There's been a long time rumor that the recycled air in an airplane is the thing that gets you sick. Usually it's not, it's the surfaces all around the interior of the plane. The air inside the airplane is filtered about 20 times an hour through hospital grade HEPA filters. The surfaces, from the windowsill to the tray table in front of you, even your armrests are absolutely covered in germs. You might think that it would be in the airline's best interest to thoroughly clean the inside of the cabin, but they rarely have enough time. After your flight lands and everyone deboards, you will see your flight attendants walking around the cabin doing a light cleaning. While they do remove the trash, clean up spills, and put everything back in its proper place, the cabin rarely, if ever, gets scrubbed down how it should be. There are a reason why those anti-sickness medications like Airborne are on the market, to add extra resistance in an environment that is thriving with bacteria. 2. Don't drink the water, or the coffee, or the tea, or anything that is made from water. Now, you can ask to have water poured from a bottle for you, but if you don't specifically ask, it'll come straight from the tap which comes from a tank that is rarely ever cleaned. Just do yourself a favor and don't drink the water, just get a ginger ale, or anything else. Number 1. No seat is a safe seat. No matter where in the plane you sit, you're not going to be safer in no section over another. Now, you can't sit in the airplane seat like this flight attendant is, you must be sitting down properly with your seatbelt fastened. But other than that, there isn't a way to pick a safer seat than all of the rest, except if you are in an exit row next to an exit door. Those are the only seats that might get you out of the plane, and in theory, out of harm's way in the event of an emergency. Yo, what up, Badgers? Subscribe and like. Y'all already know. Four Badger!